Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your host Jay. It's been a while. I think it's been about a month since I've uploaded a video. I was definitely not planning on taking a whole entire month off, but some things have come up along the way and I'll get into my kind of personal things of what's going on in my life at the end of this video. But let's go over why you are here for this video and that's for the changes coming up to the Safe Travels program. So the governor held a press conference a couple of days ago and in that press conference he said he's going to be changing the definition of fully vaccinated. So in the next couple of weeks you're going to need your booster shot to be considered fully vaccinated and to avoid quarantine. As the program stands now, you do not need a booster shot to be considered fully vaccinated and avoid quarantine. The governor said he's not gonna be making these changes for at least two weeks so that people who are not vaccinated or have not had the booster have time to make these changes before visiting the islands. A Couple of other changes come into the Safe Travels program. You will not need to do that health questionnaire 24 hours before flying to receive your QR code. And for unvaccinated travelers, the quarantine time has been reduced to five days from 10 days. And not to confuse things, if you're not vaccinated, you can still skip quarantine by taking a COVID test no more than 72 hours before departing to the islands. Also, this doesn't apply to inter-island travelers, so keep that in mind. You can fly freely between the islands with no restrictions. So just a quick recap of what you need to do to fly into the state. It's actually really simple. You still need to create a safe travels account, upload your flight info, upload your vaccine card or negative COVID test, and you're gonna get that QR code at that time. And then in the next couple of weeks, the only change really is that you're gonna most likely need a booster shot on that vaccine card that you're uploading. So definitely something to be aware of if you wanna avoid quarantine. Okay, so now onto the personal stuff, which I'll try to keep short, not to bore you. So what's been going on and why did I take a while to start filming videos again? Well, the holiday break was definitely awesome and we totally made the most of it, though it rained almost every single day during break, which was so crazy. It kind of got to all of us after a while. I think we're all depressed by week two, just sitting in the house. You know, not for the kids. The kids will go over run and play in the rain. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, very rainy holiday experience, but that's okay. But now we're doing the whole planning of our travels. Basically, this is what's going on. So Steve has some family stuff that he has to take care of back in Portugal. And also he's had some weird medical stuff going on. And it's not, maybe it's just America in general because of the bureaucracy of everything. You have to get approvals for things, insurance, blah, blah, blah. Everything just takes a really long time. But on top of it, being on Kauai, we have a small amount of doctors to talk to. And Steve wants to see a neurologist because he's been having really, really gnarly headaches for like multiple days in a row. And when he was 22 in Japan, they discovered that he was having headaches due to the fact that he has a cyst in his brain. And it's nothing dangerous. I can't remember the exact name of what the cyst is called. So he just wants to have it looked at again to see if it's uh, grown a little bit or anything like that because the doctor at the time when he was younger and discovered it said that could definitely be the cause of the headaches because it's rubbing against some nerve that is really sensitive. So he wants to get that looked at, but to do that here on island, it's you need to see your general doctor, then you need to get this approval, the insurance approval, blah, blah, blah. And in Portugal, you're like, I wanna make an appointment with a neurologist and you make an appointment. It's really, really fast and easy and you can get an MRI or a CT scan or whatever you want and it, there's no complication with it. It's really, really easy. And also another thing, his iron levels are really low. So just a mixture of things going on with him. He was feeling really tired and just off and would like to do a whole thorough scan from here to here and get it all looked at and it's just much easier in Portugal, much more quick. And so when we go to Portugal, we decided, well, it's a long journey to get to Portugal. So we're going to do a stopover in Costa Rica and check out Costa Rica for a couple of weeks before we go to Portugal. When we're in Portugal, I think we want to go see some other European countries while we're there because why not? I don't know how long we're going to be in Portugal. We will see, but I will definitely be still making videos along the way. And I think this is an opportunity finally to start vlogging while we're traveling because Steve does not have a broken leg, knock on wood, this time around. 
And so I'll be able to have extra backpacks and hands to carry some stuff and I'll be more free to hold the camera and show you guys around. So I'm really excited. There's a lot going on. I'm going to end this video now so I don't bore you guys. And because I'm actually looking around right now, we have about a month to get our house Airbnb ready. If, if I showed you, you wouldn't believe that we'll be able to do this in a month, but I have faith in us. There's a lot to do, but I have faith. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy New Year. Are we still allowed to say Happy New Year this far down into January? I, I think so. So Happy New Year, and I will keep you guys posted if there are any other changes to the Safe Travels program or travel restrictions or anything going on like that in Kauai. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you want to see more videos of mine where I talk about hosting, investing, and finance, and kawaii, and traveling, and all those things going on in my life, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Couple of other things.